Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Desktop Pro provides the Income Tracker tool to make it easier to create and process the sales within your company file. However, this tool is not available when multi-currency is enabled within a company file. You can access the Income Tracker by selecting Customers, Income Tracker from the menu bar. Within the Income Tracker window that opens, you can see all of your sales appear within a list. You can click the colored bars at the top of the window to filter the list and display only the unbilled, unpaid, or paid sales within the list. You can also use the Customer Job, Type, Status, and Date drop-downs in the toolbar above the list to filter the list items. To display all the items again after filtering the list, click the Clear slash Show All button that then appears at the right end of the toolbar at the top of the list. You can also set the display of the unbilled sales items within the list by clicking the Gear Icon button in the upper right corner of the Income Tracker window. In the drop-down menu that appears, check or uncheck the checkboxes for the types of unbilled items you want to show or hide. The choices include estimates and time and expenses. Then click the OK button in the drop-down menu to apply your changes. You can also click the Cancel button to close the drop-down without making a change if needed. You can perform actions on the sales items shown within the list in the Income Tracker window. To perform an action on an individual sales item, click into the Action column for the desired line item and then choose the action to perform from the drop-down menu of choices available. The choices that are available will vary depending on the type of sales item selected. You can also perform an action on a batch of selected sales items of the same sales item type. For example, you could choose to batch email or batch print selected invoices or mark a batch of estimates as inactive. To do this, first filter the list as desired. Then check the checkbox to the left of the list items on which you want to perform the batch action. Note that you can click the checkbox that appears at the top of the column of checkboxes to select all of the displayed items if needed. After selecting the items, then click the Batch Actions drop-down button in the lower left corner of the Income Tracker window and select the action to perform from the pop-up menu that appears. For batch printing, select the name of the type of sales form you selected under the Print Selected command in the pop-up menu. To batch email selected transactions, select the Batch Email command instead. To mark selected estimates as inactive, select the Mark as Inactive command in the pop-up menu. To edit a transaction shown in the list of sales items, simply double-click the line item to open the transaction for editing in a new window. Alternatively, you can also select the line item within the list, click the Manage Transactions drop-down button towards the lower left corner of the list window, and then select the Edit Highlighted Row command from the pop-up menu that appears. To create a new sales transaction, click the Manage Transactions drop-down button towards the lower left corner of the window, and then select the Type of New Sales Transaction to Create from the pop-up menu that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free